Hello guys, welcome back to another episode to review another product. This time, it's the silicone spray and the sliding polish. It finally came in the mail today after they messed up the first time on the delivery, and this took about 10 days to get here this time. So it was a little bit faster, went through customs a lot easier, I guess, and finally showed up. So let's go ahead and open the packaging. Just get your standard box cutter knife. They always come in handy. The blades are super easy to replace and they're cheap. So I assume that's gonna be the sliding polish in that cardboard tube. And then here we got the uh, sliding polish wrapped up in cellophane or saran wrap kind of packaging. I guess just to keep the, okay. Yeah, it came with a felt pad and uh, obviously probably gonna need that to apply it. So you're gonna need obviously the leg pad and I got also this um, rubbing alcohol and let's go ahead and just clean the pad just because I want to make sure that whatever I'm putting on it's going to be sticking to the pad itself uh, especially the silicone spray because I have played in three games with these pads and tomorrow I get to play in a 6 a.m. skate just another drop in to kind of test out the sliding polish so so at the end of this video then I'll go ahead and give you guys that update of what I think about the sliding polish and how it either helped or made things worse. So anyway, the uh, sliding polish, or it's called gliding polish, there's no directions on it, nothing on the back or the side. Let's go ahead and open it. And it looks like um, typical wax, I guess, maybe, or uh, pomade, hair pomade. Maybe you could use this in your hair and have really cool hockey hair too, I don't know. But it doesn't really smell like anything. And um, I'm not sure exactly how much to put on or anything. I don't, there's no directions on it. So let's just go ahead and just rub a little bit of this sliding polish onto this felt pad. And I'm just gonna put it everywhere that uh, comes in contact with the eye. So the, the sides here, the knee block and the uh, inner edge here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub that on. And I think I'm just gonna go by just the shininess. So when you put it on, you do start seeing it reflect. Put some maybe here. And it looks like I might need to add a little bit more because you can actually, when you touch it, it definitely feels a little slicker-ish, like, uh, like maybe your hair pomade would feel like actually. But yes, go ahead and add a little bit more. So I have had issues with sliding in these pads, maybe just because I needed to get used to them. Uh, because with my older pads, I have that vinyl, uh, that vinyl wrap on the sliding surfaces. And that stuff really allows me to slide really fast and really good. And so when I transitioned to these, I noticed they weren't as fast. I wasn't able to get over left and right as fast. So since I'm not used to slower pads, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the sliding polish to it. So again, this is that sliding polish from their website, has Passau's logo on it. I know there's another version called Ice Cream made by somebody else, but this is the what's on their website. So I didn't really put too much on, I guess. I've only dipped this felt pad in there twice, and you, maybe you can already see how much shinier it is now it doesn't seem like it's rubbing off and getting onto my fingers at all i mean you feel a slight maybe um residue but it's not annoying it's not like sticky or doesn't smell or anything so and when i rub it it's not rubbing off either so we're gonna see how much um how durable it is i guess on the ice and see how often i probably need to reapply it but Seems like it stays on there pretty good. Maybe if we try to wipe off any excess. Okay, definitely when you start wiping it off, um, you can see that it's a little bit less glossy, but it is still glossier than the original. I can tell the uh, difference between these two. But let me just go ahead and put it back on because I don't want to 
have less sliding there. Yeah, we'll uh, see if it maybe takes a little bit of time for it to dry. And uh, see if uh, it maybe stays on better. So I'm only gonna put the sliding polish there. All right, so let's go ahead and put the lid back on that. I'll do my other, other hockey pads or my other leg pad off, off camera. And let's go ahead and check out this silicone spray. So I got these because I wanted to, they said it actually protects the gear maybe from puck marks and all of that stuff, which sounded good to me because, you know, I want to keep these pads looking new. Um, for me, they were an investment. I don't buy new hockey pads every season or every three or four months. Uh, I plan to use these for at least two or three years. The other ones lasted me a couple years, so um, I probably won't even consider buying another pair unless something really wears out on these. Um, if the stiffness gives away or whatever, so we're going to try to take care of these as much as I can. So anyway, this this uh, sliding or the silicone spray, it's got Passau Hockey's brand on it, name on it. Let's see, let's go over it. It's the, uh, I can't read French. Ich kann Deutsch sprechen, but no French. So anyway, goalie pad protector, because I mean, first you can see everything's in French and then below it in English. So goalie pad protector protects against stains revitalizes leather after washing, improves glide of goalie pads on natural and synthetic surfaces. Well, I don't play on synthetic surfaces, ice, and non-staining. So also has danger at the bottom. So let's read that. Extremely flammable, poison, direct inhalation of spray may be harmful, container may explode if heater so, um, I don't know, they didn't do the best job translating, I guess, from French to English. And this is made in Canada, 400, 400 grams, 14 ounces of product here. So this, unlike the sliding polish, or I keep calling it sliding polish, but it's actually gliding polish by the name, gliding polish, sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, unlike the gliding polish, this has directions. And I like directions. As an engineer, directions are always good. Shake before using. Spray from a distance of at least 15 centimeters from the surface being lubricated. Okay, well, while I am thinking about what 15 centimeters is, um, we'll shake this up. I don't know how much, but let's see. 15 centimeters. Centimeters is the width of a pinky usually, right? So 15 of these, I mean, we're just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna say, just like spray paint, right? Just don't get it too close and cause a lot of drips and bubbles and whatever else, right? Okay, I took the lid off. The directions doesn't say take the lid off, but better take the lid off if you wanna use it, right? Gotta use some common sense. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and spray this on at about 15 centimeters from the surface being lubricated. I'm not sure what to expect, so you guys will all uh, see this firsthand like I am. So I'll start with the, um, well, let's stop, start at the top in case it's getting drips, I guess, here. All right, well, it's uh, pretty slick and shiny. Was that 15 centimeters? Oh, you can smell it. It does smell like maybe spray paint. Probably should be doing this out in my garage instead of here in the basement, right? So there you have it. It looks like you just sprayed on like spray paint. There's few areas that are thicker than others. I think that'll be it. I don't want to put a whole lot of it on there, I guess. Uh, it doesn't say anything about wiping off excess. It just feels nice and slick. You could probably use this as gliding polish as well. But it does put a nice gloss on your uh, equipment. I'm going to put this down here. Let's do also my blocker and the glove. This is the glove. And again, I'm going to use rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol to... So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off any kind of other dirt. Shake, shake, shake a little bit. They say it also helps keep things a little bit, maybe a little bit more waterproof. So 
Maybe it won't get so much water build up on the edges here if I spray some in there, but there you go. We'll see what happens. I think it just gives it a nice glossy finish. I don't know, I could put some on the outside. I mean, I do have some stick marks here already, so maybe this will help. People like to whack your stick even if uh, you got the pucks covered, right? All right, we'll go ahead and let that dry. And then let's go ahead and do the blocker. Blocka, blocka. And, uh, all right, same thing. Let's wipe it down. I always try to put the alcohol on the rag instead of directly onto the equipment to kind of help prevent any more possible damage. Who knows, I mean, on, the, on my white pads, Sometimes the, the paint of the equipment, like the, the colors will come off on the rag if I spray it directly on the pads and let it sit and then wipe it up. So I don't want to, there's, it's just a good habit I think to put cleaners on rags first when you want to clean certain things like this. Shake, shake, shake. So when I spray, I kind of go, I go past the edge like you normally would with spray paint. All right, that looks good. So we're gonna find out how that holds up. I'm gonna play tomorrow at 6 a.m. and uh, we'll come back to this video and let you know if, uh, if I liked it with the sliding polish and if I noticed anything with the silicone spray, maybe pucks will slide more, I don't know. We're, we're gonna find out. So if it does, I'll let you know if I can kind of wipe it off or remove it with rubbing alcohol. All right, that wraps that part up. Let's see you guys in a little bit with the final review after playing in it tomorrow, all right? All right, guys, I just got done playing in these pads this morning at 6 a.m. And I've got a few things to say about it. So immediately when I woke up this morning and I showered and everything and got ready to go play hockey, I grabbed the pads and I noticed right away they were kind of slick and slippery. And I got this residue on my hands that it feels like a really greasy lotion. But the greasy feeling, I guess, you know, kind of goes away after a while. But yeah, you can see that the silicone spray stayed on pretty good. Uh, but when you're playing out there, you'll start seeing some snow build up. It seems like it sticks more to the pads. I had snow built up into the creases here and snow just um, kind of on the different parts of the pads here where you have the design. But overall, it looks like it stayed on pretty good. When a puck does hit the pad, you notice that it gets a little bit of a dull area because I think the puck just um, hits the, the, the silicone polish and it kind of uh, comes off a little bit. So you'll have to reapply if you want more on there, but overall, I think it does a good job protecting the pads and keeping them waterproof. Down right here over the toe where it gets a lot of wear and uh, puck kicks, it seems to have either worn off or just uh, washed off or something or gotten hit off. So other than that, the sliding polish, it looks like it is not as shiny anymore as it was when I first applied it yesterday. I think another application will be necessary and uh, probably do that about once a game or until it starts to maybe get a little bit of a buildup on it to, uh, to stay on. So if we look at the glove, you can see it's still pretty shiny and has a lot of that silicone spray on it still. Over on the top, it looks like it kind of either dried up or wore off a little bit. It's a little bit duller now. Um, but inside, you can see it's super shiny. And there, I also got a lot of snow and water in there as well. And you can see a dull spot here maybe. And that's where a puck hit and wiped off some of that silicone spray. But other than that, it seems like it stayed on pretty good. Here on the cuff, it still feels slick and all, but not as shiny anymore, which is uh, okay with me. I actually prefer to have the matte colored pads instead of a glossy look. So even though it's still, it, it's matte or not as glossy, I can still feel some of the silicone spray on there. It's a little bit slick there. It really hasn't affected my, my play as far as puck rebounds or slipping out of there or something like that. Um, I think, a few of my catches that I couldn't make was just due to me not able to squeeze it tight enough in time because I still am in the 
the break-in period there. If we look at the blocker, you can see also a few different dull marks on there from where you, uh, from where a puck hits and deflects off of it. But other than that, it's this one seems to have kept the most silicone spray on it actually. So didn't get so much action, I guess, on the blocker side in the game today. Overall, it does what it's supposed to. And the gliding polish definitely helps improve the sliding left and right on these pads. I haven't had any problems with that. I did notice a lot more speed. When the ice conditions in the crease got a little bit worse with more snow buildup, these pads still slid pretty good and pretty smooth on snow built up ice. So that's always a plus because we don't get the luxury of having a Zamboni come between periods and clean the ice. Actually, my honest opinion, uh, be careful how much you use at first. It could be too much for you and uh, be really slippery and slick. I feel like this gliding polish gives you like the same effect as the silicone spray. So you could probably just buy this and rub it everywhere on your pads or vice versa. I think if, if you bought just the silicone spray, you could spray this on your sliding surfaces here and still also get the desired effect of easier sliding. So definitely a good purchase made, I think, and I have no regrets. I plan to use it more often, uh, probably in every game, just to do some touch-ups. And actually I might even um, do a quick wipe down after I apply the silicone spray so it's not as slippery or glossy, just because it's just it can get messy maybe and get all over your hands. So here is some footage real quick from some of the warm-ups and game action footages of sliding left and right. So you can see how easy the sliding is and it looks like it's pretty slick and effortless. And I really like how smooth I can be with the pads and moving quickly left and right. Even if the crease is a little bit deteriorated, you can still get some good sliding. This one I just had to put in there because uh, it was a great shot and I was still able to slide over, but they were able to just roof it right over me. Here's a shot where I wasn't able to close my glove in time and keep the puck in it. I don't know if that had anything to do with the sliding polish, but in the end, the puck slipped out of my glove and across the red line. So here's one where they got a little bit of a break and I was able to slide really quick to my left, but I wasn't able to get my elbow tight to my pad to seal that area off so that they could not slide the puck between them. Okay, so that wraps it up. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you have any other feedback as far as how much you use or what you prefer or any tips, let me know in the comments section. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Clean off any... Oh, the camera just fell off. Also, when the crease was deteriorating, deteriorating. <laughs>